Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create, and I wanted to come on today and share with you my newest Christmas album, utilizing a collection from last season, the Stamperia's Christmas Greetings. I loved this paper, but last season, Christmas season was hectic. I never had a chance to do what I wanted with this paper. So I asked Julie, could I please make an album with this beautiful paper? So this is what I came up with. This album measures seven and a half by nine and a half. Is that right? No, seven and a half by eight and a half with a two and a half inch spine. Now on the front cover, we have one of the circle elements that's been backed on a scallop die circle and that I painted with metallic gold paint. And this beautiful deer, reindeer it, on the front, this is all from the 8x8 collection. And this Joyful Christmas is one of their, from their ephemera packs that they send you. It has that beautiful sheen to it. This little element here, there's some, lots of shadows here today, but this little element here is actually, where's my, if you have Graphic 45, some collections, old collections, you have these wooden um, chip, chip elements. All I did was ink this up real heavily and then put some of that gold paint on and added one of their little um, sentiments here, joy, and backed it on a little bit of burgundy ribbon. So that's the front cover. This is all triple matte. It's got the gold that's just painted. It's just painted craft paper with some burgundy paper underneath and then the designer paper. And that gold burgundy wraps around all the way from the front to the back. Spine, this is from the ephemera collection, the Noel. And then the back is like this. So, oh, and I wanted to show you. Now with my albums, I like to utilize the front inner cover and the back inner cover like a full page. So there's lots of stuff going on on the front inner cover and back cover. In between my three pocket pages, there's five eighths of an inch gussets. And that same five eighths of an inch is in between the last pocket page and the back cover and between the front uh, first pocket page and the front inside cover. So that's how it looks, and this feels really good in your hands. I am all about the feel. How does an album feel in your hands? I say that a lot in my videos, too. How does it feel? So it opens with a, a gold ribbon closure. You open it up, and you get to the inside front cover. Now, this is utilizing one of the, the angel, one of these circle elements from the collection. And again, I backed it on that gold. Um, it's a circle die. And I colored that circle die and with gold again. And I use this as a, a tuck spot. So it's kind of, it's only glued down here. So you have um, a tuck spot here. There's one of their beautiful images from the collection, an eye punch and a ribbon. And if you're giving this to somebody, I just put from, this is the standard Christmas card to and from label. I just put that on the back. I thought that kind of matched the paper. So that just hangs back here. Beautiful Christmas saying here. So this opens up with this ribbon pole. You open it up, pull this down, and you come to this top part. So this top part is basically a pocket. It's And this will hold a big five by seven up here. And I just put in one of the journaling cards from the collection in here. And then down here, we have a pull. This is another pull down flap. So pull it down by this gold ribbon here. Here's a greetings, one of the sentiments from the collection. Again, backed on that gold painted cardstock. You pull this down and you get to this inner pocket, which is a big inner pocket. And this is covered with the paper from the collection, obviously, this beautiful tree. This is a large 
a large pocket in there. It can hold lots of stuff. This is a quarter inch gusset up here. So this can hold a lot of stuff in here. And you have, I just put a, made a large tag and another photo, um, photo element, photo card. And I utilized one of their circle elements because there's so many of them and they're so beautiful and made it into a little tag also. So that goes down here. And then down here, we have, we have, this is our flip and we have a little pocket on it with another photo card right here. So that just tucks back in here. So this closes and this closes and that's all by magnet, obviously. You can hear that. And now we come to page one. So page one, this is a, a magnet closure also. There's the page. I love that image. I just, just love this image. Ribbon pull, you open it up and you come to this spread here. So we have this spread and a pocket here and some more um, photo mats. Another one of their circle elements that they have. And then I actually started making these and a lot of you have probably seen these. These are just hidden paper clips. So this is my, my take on a hidden paper clip. I like to have one, one side longer than the other. So when you put it on, it's easier to, to slip on. And I'll show you how I slip it on when I turn the page here. So what I do on this page, you'll see this is the long side. Oops. What I want is the long side like that so you can easily put it in. And that was just holding this in place and this one's on this side. So that's my take on a hidden paper clip. So you turn this page and you come to this spread which has another pocket here with some more photo mats. And here's a little, one of their elements too are these beautiful squares that they have. So those just live in here. And this is a good idea, which I thought this would be good to, if you have an image, you can just stuck it, stick it under there. So it's, it would hold your image up there. So put this back in here and then this closes and then that closes. And then you come to page two another circle element backed on that gold painted scallop punch. I've used lots of those. This pulls down and you come to this spread. So I just love this beautiful paper. It goes all the way down and here is a ma magnetic closure here that goes back up. You open it with another ribbon here and you come to this spread like this, Be beautiful paper. Here's another one of their um, squared ornaments from their collection. A little pocket here, and then this is a flap, and that's held by a magnet also. So lots of space for photos in through here. This closes and this closes. And again, like all my albums, I like to make them so they kind of flow from one page to another. So this page is flowing into this page. These are, this is from the eight by eight. And these three elements just fit perfectly over this pocket. It was like, wow, I didn't even have to do anything. They just fit perfectly, I didn't have to cut through them. So this was going to form a pocket this ribbon tells us to pull this up and you come to this pocket. This pocket has lots of room. It is a scored pocket, lots of room in there. I just made another photo mat, some more elements from the collection, put those in here. There's space for more photos here. And then you open this to this side and you come to the inside of this flap and you have another one of those circles. So I matted that circle so it was 
dividing right down where the, the seam was. And this is going to be holding, you can tuck three by fours anywhere you want under this little circle tuck spot. So that goes all the way, all the way around here. So I thought that looked, that looks so pretty too. And then this just is held by a magnetic closure. So now we get to page one, two, three, four, page four. Now page four, I use the same um, design for my last Christmas album, and I wanted to try it on this one. It's called a peekaboo type belly band element. And basically it has scored pockets on two sides here, here and here, and it's held by a belly band. So you can put lots of stuff in there, a big booklet if you want it. I just made this tag with one of the elements from, this is the 12 by 12 collection, another eyelet, another ribbon, and then I just finished it off in the craft card stock in the back. And it, this just fits perfectly right under here. And it looks like that reindeer is giving us a little peekaboo there. So I thought that was so pretty there too. Then we get to page five. So this is using one of their cards from the collection. And I made it into a little booklet here held by a magnet. And I just cut out a photo mat. You can't tell, but this, I actually cut this out as a photo mat. And there's a picture that I put behind here, but this is a little photo mat. And then another element from the Femmer collection, that Christmas greetings has a little sheen to it. So this closes and then this opens up. And here's my take on another hidden, hidden paper clip. Joy and peace on this side. And here it says with Christmas greetings and good cheer, all from the collection. Here's that one side larger, longer than the other. So it's easy just to slip on like that. You're not struggling with opening it up. You just slip it on like that. And then you turn this and we have a pocket here with a photo mat that lives in here. And you have this big space in the middle. So this is fairly large. I don't even know what size this is. This is almost seven. So this would be by eight. So it's a pretty big space for any big photos that you wanna put. I use this little circle element and cut him into a tuck spot down here. And then we have a scored pocket on this side right here. So more room here. And I just made another photo mat, uh, another element from their collection and put that in here. And then this closes up. Get my, this straight and that closes up. And then we come to page six. Normally in my Christmas albums, especially, I like to have waterfalls because waterfalls give us an opportunity to add lots of pictures, especially Christmas day. I like waterfalls as they, cause they t tell a story of the, the day. I saw this when I was struggling with what I want to do from another designer, Michelle Allen. I love watching her videos and she had this on one of her albums and I'll link her her album that she had this in below. I kind of changed it a little bit, but this is basically a M Michelle Allen design. So it opens up with a ribbon and it has, you pull it apart like this. It's an accordion. Let me hold this so you can see. Oh, can I get it in all on one? It opens, kind of get it hard to get in one. It opens up like that. There's lots of room so you can have room for photos here, here, and here. And then in the center, you have a pocket. And this is a scored pocket, so you got more room. I just put a journaling card in there, but you have more room in there. And then you have room for photos here, and then you turn it over 
and room for more photos here. So this just closes up and then you just tie it down to keep everything down. And then on the behind this is a pocket, is a, a deep pocket and I just made um, a little photo booklet. This is from the collection, Happy Holidays. And again, backed it on that gold painted paper with this beautiful gold shimmer paper. And it's just a simple booklet to add even more photos. And this is from the collection. And I just made a little tuck spot down there. And then this just lives back in here. And there's a stop right there, so it can't go back down. So it's holding it there. So I thought that was a great idea. Then we come to our last, this is the inside back cover. I like to add these accordion envelopes because this is usually with our Christmas cards. I like to put, put all the Christmas cards we get from family and friends someplace and I store them every year in my Christmas albums. So I made another one using the angel. I wanted to use an angel on the front to complement, well, I wanted to use an angel on the back to complement the angel on the front. So we start with an angel and then we end with our beautiful angel. And I use some gold vellum to kind of line this envelope out a little bit just because I thought the the vellum added like a glimmer of sunshine around our beautiful angel. Open this up. Like I said, it's 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 a accordion pocket, so there's lots of room in there. And I norm I normally I usually make a little journal if with from all my scrap paper. So this is just made from whatever scraps I had left. I made this little tiny journal. And it's, these are so simple to make. They will take you less than, I don't know, 15 minutes. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch. And I only have like three pages, which comes out to six pages because you fold them in half in here. And then you can just see the three, three hole pamphlet stitch and just put some little pockets in the front and the back. And I just thought this was a great way to utilize some of your leftovers and it's just built on some black cardstock and I use my black construction tape over the spine so this never cracks and that will just fit back in here and stay there. And it has a magnetic closure here. So that's my take on Stamperia's Christmas greetings. For this album, I utilized an 8x8 core pack, uh, a 12x12 core pack, and then I utilized an 8x8 backgrounds and a 12x12 backgrounds. I have not much left of the backgrounds at all. And I did use some of the, the ephemera pieces, lots of beautiful ephemera pieces too that come with this collection. So I hope you like it. I love this album and I hopefully will talk to you guys soon. Bye.